Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows ectopic pregnancy, early ectopic pregnancy with endometrial hyperplasia. You can see the uterus having thickened endometrium. Endometrial thickness is more than 2 cm. Many women are able to become pregnant with endometrial overgrowth, but it is important that you talk to your doctor regarding therapy options that rectify the fertility. Now you can see the endometrium, thickened endometrium. This is the endometrial. You will see the measurement of the endometrial thickness and it measures about 24.3 millimeter. So this is endometrial hyperplasia. Uterus is enlarged in ectopic pregnancy. Following implantation, the tropoblast produces HCG, which maintains the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum produces estrogen and progesterone, which changes the secretory endometri endometrium into decidua. The uterus enlarges up to 8 weeks size and becomes soft. Ectopic pregnancy is diagnosed when the gestation sac with the live fetal pole or yolk sac is found outside the empty uterine cavity. So this is, uh, says Dr. Khalifa, sometimes diagnosis can be challenging if the ectopic pregnancy is in its early stage as you are seeing in this case and the sac is not yet visible by ultrasound but in this case a small gestation sac having a small yolk sac is visible this is the left ovary this is uterus now you will see the right ovary having a small gestation sac in which a tiny yolk sac or umbilical vesicle is visible now you can see the right ovary having a small yolk sac. This is the right ovary. A thickened endometrial lining after miscarriage is a normal finding. Therefore, based on the available evidence, clinical signs and symptoms rather than the endometrial thickness should guide treatment options. None of our subjects with an endometrial thickness greater than 15 millimeter requires surgical evacuation. Now you can see a tiny gestation sac. This is the gestation sac in the right ovary. And a yolk sac is seen in, the, in this sac. Often measurements of uh, HCG blood levels are repeated to help make the diagnosis. Progesterone levels in the blood stream rise very early in the course of pregnancy. Low levels of hormones are frequently associated with an abnormal pregnancy such as ectopic pregnancy or impending miscarriage. Now you can see a small yolk sac in the gestation sac seen in the right ovary. And free fluid is also seen in the lower pel pelvic cavity and in the Morrison's pouch.
one of the more common causes of changes in the endometrial thickness is pregnancy women who are having an ectopic pregnancy or who are less than 5 weeks pregnancy pregnant may show signs of thickened endometrium absence of intrauterine gestation sac or abdominal ultrasound in conjunction with the bhcg level of greater than 65000 6500 mi per ml suggests the presence of an ectopic pregnancy this is the free fluid seen around the right ovary and in the area just above the urinary bladder in the cul de sac in normal pregnancy bhcg level doubles every 48 to 72 hours until it reaches 10 to 20000 iu per ml in ectopic pregnancy bhcg levels usually increases less mean serum bhcg levels are lower in ectopic pregnancies than in the healthy pregnancies no single serum bhcg level is diagnostic of an ectopic pregnancy now you can see the fluid is also seen in the marison's pouch you can see this is gallbladder liver this is the free fluid seen this is right kidney symptoms of an ectopic pregnancy usually develops between the fourth and 12 weeks of pregnancy some women do not have any symptoms first they may not find out they have an ectopic pregnancy until an early scan shows the problem or they develop more serious symptoms later on now the signs of an ectopic pregnancy at 7 to 8 weeks are ectopic pregnancy abnormal vaginal bleeding fainting or feeling faint or suddenly dizzy low blood pressure rectal pressure shoulder pain severe sharp sudden pelvic pain now you will see all the diagnostic findings are set in this picture it is if it is not diagnosed in time generally between 6 and 16 weeks the fallopian tubes will rupture this is long before the fetus could survive outside of the mother's body the sad truth is that when the pregnancy is ectopic the fetus will not survive hcgv hcg increases of more than 53 percent in 48 hours suggests abnormal pregnancy either ectopic or failed intrauterine pregnancy abnormal rise in hcg only have 36 percent sensitivity and 65 percent specificity for detecting ectopic pregnancy this is because ectopic pregnancies can have normal rising hcg level 25 percent of the time Patients with normal intrauterine pregnancy had serum progesterone level greater than 20 ng per ml, mean 30.9 ng per ml, 
while all patients with ectopic pregnancies had progesterone levels less than 15 ng oblique ml means 5.7 ng oblique ml endometrial hyperplasia is an increased growth of endometrium unlike a cancer mild or simple hyperplasia can go away on its own with hormonal treatment the most common type of hyperplasia is the simple hyperplasia has a very small risk of becoming cancerous in many cases endometrial hyperplasia can be treated with progesterone progesterone is given orally in in a shot in an intrauterine device or as a vaginal cream how much and how long you take it depends on your age and the type of hyperplasia treatment with it, with progesterone may cause vaginal bleeding like a period so a triple pregnancy the most common type of ectopic pregnancy happens when a fertilized egg gets stuck on its way to the uterus often because the fallopian tube is damaged by inflammation or is mishappen you can find some important information in the description of this video thank thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks